Welcome to another episode of The Latest with Maya. Today, I am beyond excited to have a conversation with singer, songwriter, AJ Mitchell. AJ has uh, so many amazing songs, but you have probably heard uh, one of his top 40 charting songs, Girls, All My Friends, and Slow Dance featuring Ava Max. His newest song is Foolish, and it is one of my new favorites. Um, AJ, your music just means so much to me, and I've been wanting to interview you for so long. So thank you so much for being on my show. And thank you so much for having me. What an introduction. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's get started. Um, so what motivates you even on days when you aren't really feeling it? Uh, I would say the people in my life. Also, I grew up in a really small town. So I kind of think about like where I'm at right now and just trying to be grateful for where I am. Like right now I'm in New York. Um, I get to just go outside, walk to like a local shop. And in my hometown, there was really not much to do other than like go to like abandoned buildings and explore what I've already explored millions of times. But um, now that I left my hometown, I, I get to explore the world and, and see so much more. So I'm just, I'm grateful for that. And that kind of motivates me every day. Oh, I love that. Um, so I love all of your music. Um, where do you find inspiration for your songs? I find inspiration in emotions. Whenever I feel um, any emotion, it could be sadness, happiness, excitement. Um, any, any feeling, honestly, can make me just want to write a song. Um, like whenever I get in my, in my feelings, I'm like, okay, I need to sit at the piano and just play how I feel. And sometimes I'll just play the piano and I, so I feel like I communicate in my melodies like on the piano sometimes um, yeah. without having to say anything. And um, normally when I do that, uh, then I'm like, okay, what am I gonna write about? And yeah. I'm just, yeah, it really just starts with an emotion. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so if you had, a reality TV show about your life, what would it be called? Hmm. <laughs> That's a really good question. I want to come up with something funnier than just um, get familiar with AJ Mitchell or something. <laughs> <laughs> it could be something cre more creative than that, but I, I'm not sure. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so is there a song of yours that is your favorite? Yeah, I would, it's it's hard to say what my favorite is because all of my songs are like my, my, my children in a way. You know, I hold them really close to my heart. Um, but Foolish is definitely one of my favorites that's released. Um, I just released that like two weeks ago. And this new song that I'm actually releasing in seven days, it's called Flowers on the Moon. And I'm also really excited to release that. That's also gotta be one of my favorite songs I've ever written in my life. Oh, cool, I love that. Yeah, um, yeah, is, uh, so do you have a special songwriting process or any rituals that help get you in the right headspace to write? Yeah, I think for me, I, ch I never try to force myself to write sometimes. And I, I kind of just let um, myself get into that flow state where I feel that emotion and you know I feel something that excites me. And then I'm like, I'm ready to write something fun and write something exciting or write something sad, depending on um, how I'm feeling. But um, I guess, you know, yeah, like I said, it always starts with an emotion, um, but I definitely have my uh, voice memos handy with me. Anytime I get an idea, I hit the voice memos, I'm like, sing my melody in there, sing my idea. Um, that's, that's definitely a huge part of my process and my notes app. You know, I write everything in my notes, all my songs. Yeah. My yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, 
Yes. So is there an artist or a song that you consider to be the gold standard when it comes to songwriting and storytelling? Mm. Yes. Um, I would say that the Beatles, they do an incredible job at storytelling. Um, an incredible job with melody, lyrics, and I would say I would say the the one song, the golden standard, standard would be "Yesterday" by the Beatles. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, I um, yeah, I love um, writing songs and yeah, uh, yeah, um, it, yeah, that is one of my favorite things to do. So everything you're saying about you know, just kind of getting it all out there is like yeah. how I feel. Yeah, it's kind of like therapy in a way, you know? Yeah. And some we hold everything in our head mm-hmm. and right. we, it's nice to get it out on paper or just yeah. to hear it in a yeah. yeah, definitely. Because I know for me, there's sometimes there's things that I don't, uh, I'm like, it's something maybe I'm anxious about or something, but I don't want to like actually say the words. Yes. Um, so just being able to like put it in a song always helps. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I think um, Macy Peters is one of my favorite artists. And so I think any of her songs is like, something i want to write a song like her so <laughs> amazing yeah. do you have any of your songs out i'd love to hear it or yeah, you just write I, your- i'm actually working with a friend of mine who's a musician um to like actually turn because i write lyrics but I don't I can't put them to music or anything so she's helping me put them to music so we've released nice. an EP um so yeah well, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to hear that yeah thank you yeah it's called um it's called Shattered Stories by Maya and yeah it's on YouTube and Spotify right now so okay nice okay I'll check it out <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. I'd love to know what you think of the, um, yeah, another s- songwriter's opinion. So, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Um. So I am pop culture obsessed, and I go in stages of shows that I cannot stop watching. Is there a show that you are currently obsessed with? Um, yes. I, I can't lie. I've been watching a lot of anime lately. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one right now called Hunter x Hunter that I've been watching. Um, I finished all like the classics like Naruto and Seven Deadly Sins and some other animes. I don't know if you're familiar with any anime. Um, not really yeah. <laughs> yeah um but um besides anime i was really hooked on euphoria for a bit Euphoria it was an incredible um incredible series um what else did i watch I, yeah i haven't really i guess i haven't really watched too much I've, I've been in the studio for the past year working on my album um but yeah my free time i'm like oh let me just throw on anime because it's like 20 minutes long and then I could watch an episode and then get back to work. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have like a go-to comfort show or movie? Yes. Um, I would say my comfort movie would be Dumb and Dumber. Mm. Jim- have you ever seen it? I, I think I saw part of it I don't think I ever saw the whole thing yeah it's um I remember that was like one of the first movies my dad showed me when I was a kid so it's like super nostalgic and it's just hilarious it's so funny and Jim Carrey is just one of the funniest human beings I think on the planet (laughs) oh cool yeah I love that I'll yeah I'll have to go back and watch the whole thing Yeah. yeah yeah um 
Is there a song of yours that you have been surprised has resonated with so many people? Yes, um, used to be. And it's a song that I wrote when I was 13 years old. I released it when I was 16. And it's still one of my biggest songs um, today, which is, which is absolutely crazy to me that a song that I wrote when I was 13 resonates with an entire generation of people older than me, people younger than me, um, which is crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me. And yeah. I've had people come up to me that are like 30 or 35 and like, oh, he loved Used to Be. And I'm like, no way. Like that's, that's so crazy to me. I'm like, I wrote yeah. that song at such a young age. I wouldn't think that people, you know, 10 years older than me would actually enjoy a song like that. Yeah. But oh, I mean, that's, that's the cool thing about music in a way, because anyone can take what you say and relate to what's going on in their life. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I actually, that song holds, like there, uh, there's certain songs that hold like certain memories and like mm -hmm. things that I can remember exactly how I was feeling at a point in time with that song and used to be actually I remember when it first came out and I was in the hospital for um a couple weeks and I remember I just had it like on a loop really? <laughs> yeah and so I remember just listening to it like the whole time I was in the hospital so <laughs> That's so amazing. Yeah, wow. That's, I mean, it's that, that I would say a song like that for me would be At Last by Etta James. Like that brings me back to such a like time in my life where everything felt so vibrant and so warm when I was like maybe yeah. six years old. Um, yeah. But it brings me back to those times. Yeah. It's like going to my grandparents' house and having nothing to worry about other than just having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so do you have any irrational fears? Hmm. I'm fearless. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, I, that's a, that's a good question. I don't. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I have any irrational fears. Hmm. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I, that is good. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what in your life brings you the most joy? Hmm. Many things. Lots of things bring me joy. I would say, being on a beach brings me joy. Seeing the sun makes gives me joy. Reading a book gives me joy. Um, being with my family, uh, writing songs, eating good food. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm a huge nature person so yeah I love being in nature uh, I love animals like monkeys monkeys are my favorite animals on the yeah. planet they're so funny uh, yeah. they, they remind me of myself sometimes I'm like oh that's kind of like me uh, <laughs> I'm in that tree and eating a banana uh, yeah 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 many many things a lot of small things bring me joy yeah and definitely the people in my life bring me yeah. a lot of joy oh I love that yeah um so what do you wish people better understood about you hmm. i would say i feel like a lot of people um don't know like my back story and that i come from like a really small town um yeah. uh, and like i think a lot of people just see me as like oh this kid grew up in la and he just you know wanted to start writing songs um yeah. you know just because he wanted to but like um I've been writing songs since I was like four years old it's it's who I am as a person like I everything I do is because I, I just love creating music so much it's yeah. my passion and it's just it's one of my I mean one of my biggest joys in life and um so yeah I would say letting people know that this is truly who I am and there's nothing else it's just I'm a creator at heart and I love to make music. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, 
So what is your favorite movie soundtrack? You know what? This is this is a pretty funny one. Well, it's not funny, but it's it's probably funny because you're probably not going to expect this. But Twilight has an incredible soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. I saw the first movie, but I think I was probably a little young i because i don't remember it so yeah. i'll have to i'll have to go listen to the soundtrack <laughs> yeah it is the first one yeah the first yeah. the first one it's an incredible soundtrack it has um i think bruno mars it will rain in there and there it's also a song called bella's lullaby which i love it's just like this beautiful piano um kind of soundtrack piece which i even listen to on my own my, on my free time it's just i just think it's so, such a beautiful melody Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so if you had a warning label, what would yours say? <laughs> um, it would just say beware. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah, nice and simple. You know, it can't be like, beware of the dog, you know, it can't be too long, just yeah. nice and <laughs> Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I love inspiring and motivational quotes. And this week, my favorite quotation is by Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And it says, whatever you do, Whatever you choose to do, leave tracks. That means don't do it just for yourself. You will want to leave the world a little better for your having lived. Um, is there a quotation that has inspired you lately? Yeah, there is one. Um, I'm trying to remember it. it. I don't want to say this wrong, but I think it's like, um, once you replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts you start seeing positive results and um i try to i try to remind myself all the time if i start thinking negatively or um because you know we all do we all have those days yeah. i try to switch attitude and be like no i'm grateful yeah. i'm blessed to be where i am today and um yeah. i'm gonna replace that negative thought with a positive thought oh, i love that yeah i think that i think that's a great one yeah, it's, um, in, it's ingrained yeah. in my head. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, well, um, that was my final question. It uh was so much fun talking with you. I um I'm just I sorry, I'm trying to find words because I like I said I've been wanting to interview you for years so I'm just so oh. excited to be talking with you right now so thank you yes thank you so much for having me you're such a sweetheart and I'm so glad we got to do this thank you me too yeah um so I so appreciate your taking the time and I hope you have a great rest of your day Thank you. You as well. Thank you. And that's a wrap on today's edition of The Latest with Maya. Yeah. <laughs>